Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Regine Badulis. I will be performing the checklist for urinary, uh, female urinary catheterization. Okay, the materials I'm going to use are first uh, urinary bag, urinary catheter, um, sterile gloves, cottons, um, cotton balls, um, forceps, betadine, um, 5cc syringe, 10 cc syringe and uh, drips. I have also provided or performed the perennial care to the patient that will uh, that will clean the gross contamination. Okay. Um, good afternoon, ma'am. I am Regine Badulis. I am a student nurse for today. What is your name, ma'am? Okay. Thank you. Uh, today I will be performing. Uh, we, are do, we will do the procedure for urinary catheterization. This procedure will uh, help the medical care, uh, medical uh, practitioner, uh, medical uh, practitioner to do med more, uh, further medical examination. Okay, I have also provided privacy, and I have positioned the client in the appropriate position in a supine position, and I have flexed the knees and um, feet two feet apart and slightly externally really rotated the hips uh, to further uh, see the uh, niatus and also I have also provided adequate light and uh, I am standing now at the right side of the client okay and I have uh, opened the kit okay then first I will be wearing my gloves I will be putting the drapes. Under. And then another drape. With a hole that will only expose the vagina. After that, I'm going to organize some of my, my things that I'm going to use for today's procedure. So I have, I will be putting the beta dye. Then I will open the KY jelly. Put it here. Card. I'll set this aside first. And then I will be testing the catheter, urinary catheter, by, okay, and then there, yeah, set this aside first, and after that, we're going to uh, lubric put lubrication or lubricator to the catheter. Uh, it will be uh, five inches from the tip. We will put the lubricator from the tip to five inches from the tip. Okay, then set aside. After that, we're going to clean first the miatus. Okay, by we will clean the miatus. Okay. First, I will be using my left hand since I'm uh, right handed. So, this is my uh, weak hand, uh, non dominant hand. Then, I will open the labia like this to expose the miatus. Then after that we're going to I'm going to put 
going to get my uh, forcep and I'm going to clean or uh, disinfect the the first is the, the furthest from me okay from top to bottom and then this card another one the one closest to me from top to bottom and then this card and the last one is in the middle same stroke from top to bottom and then this card okay then we're ready for uh, insertion of the cutter I'm going to get the catheter and then I'm going to hold the catheter uh, three inch inches from the tip okay so three inches and we're going to insert the catheter inside the, the miatus and then we'll tell the patient to slowly inhale and exhale. Okay, uh, ma'am, this will be a little bit painful, a little bit, uh, this, you will feel this, uh, you will not be comfortable, but it will be tolerable. Okay, so inhale, just inhale and exhale slowly. Okay, inhale and exhale. Then the moment he exhale, I'm going to insert the catheter slowly. Sorry, ma'am, it will be a little bit uh, uncomfortable for you. Until 7 inches, or 6 to 7 inches for female. Okay. Okay, ah. Then, after the insertion, if the, the we're going to, to put, uh, inflate the balloon. Okay, so inside. Okay. If the patient uh, uh, say that is uncomfortable, is painful, then you have you immediately uh, remove the the water from the inflation, and then move further, and then uh, inflate again, and then to test whether your your infla uh, inflation is already anchored into the bladder. We're going to pull the slowly the and then there. So this is uh, we cannot pull it out anymore, which means it's already anchored and already safe for uh, the catheter to be in, uh, inside the ure uh, urethra or meatus. Okay, and then after that, we're going to uh, collect urine. If you see the, if you see the urine um, already, uh, okay, hold the the catheter uh, in five five inches from the tip. Okay, three inches hold firmly three inches from the tip and then insert the catheter tell the patient to uh, inhale slowly inhale and exhale exhale um, uh, inhale exhale now we're going to put the catheter in um, let's hold the catheter three inches from the tip okay hold it firmly and then uh, tell the patient to ma'am please uh, inhale and exhale slowly and deeply okay as i insert this one it will be a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit painful but it's tolerable okay so just inhale exhale deeply slowly uh, deeply okay i will now going to enter the uh, Okay, until two inches. Okay, if you see that there is already uh, uh, the, the the urine already flowing in the in the catheter, then it's okay. Then we will uh, we will try to 
inflate we will inflate the balloon Then, if the patient as, uh, is uh, expressing a pain and discomfort, uh, in, um, remove the inflation right away, and then um, move the catheter further. Okay, and then inflate the balloon again. And you can test if the balloon is already inflated, already anchored in the urit in the urethra. We're going to pull the uh, catheter, and if the catheter is cannot be pulled anymore, it means it's already anchored and it's already good inside, and already safe inside. Okay, then at, uh, we're going to attach the drainage end of the indwelling catheter. Uh, the tubing bag, collect uh, urine collecting collection bag. Then we will put the bag uh, under under the hips. Okay. Okay, collect urine if, if needed and wipe uh, some of the antiseptic and then we're going to take this off. And throw it away and then uh, we're done okay uh, thank you ma'am for your cooperation we are now finished with the procedure and now I'm going to record uh, our procedure today thank you